Good afternoon, YouTubers. So welcome to our next backyard. Uh, we are on day five of our renovation of this 1977 um, Dura, Ver, Vandura um, RV, GMC. And so uh, good news is that we had rain. We're in Oklahoma right now. And so you can imagine that the weather here um, can get pretty severe. So the good news is that I uh, patched up everything on the roof just in time. We had uh, like a string of sunny days. And now um, I'll show you all the patchwork that I've done and no water. So that's awesome news. I was very excited to find out about that this morning. So all the patches I did on the roof have been successful, which means what? No more rot. Um, so let me show you where I'm at today. Today's dilemma. So I'm going to re start reframing today. So all the rot that I've taken out that's been actually structural is going to get redone today. And then uh, I also, before I want to do that, I want to take out this RV toilet. So if anyone watching has removed the 1970s toilet from an RV, um, please let me know because um, normally there's like bolts on the side on a normal toilet that you can remove this, um, but this one doesn't seem to have that. So this is what it looks like. It's a classic. It's definitely original. Got double pedals on the bottom, one for water, one for flushing. And uh, there's like no room on the side here to, and there's like no bolts tethering this thing to the floor. You can't even see. So I'm gonna go check underneath, but the tank's underneath, so I don't have a the darndest clue. But I'll continue my investigation and continue to share. <laughs> 